Welcome to another Lumion live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. In this tutorial, we're going to cover 9.5. So, Lumion 9.0 came out in November 2018. And with every release of the major number like 9, 8, 7, 6, we get a couple free releases for those who have purchased that year. We got Lumion 9.3 which introduced uh, live sync for Vectorworks among many other optimizations and now we are finishing off with 9.5 this will be the last release before Lumion 10 which should come out before the end of the year sometime usually around November so what did we get in Lumion 9.5 this time we got some great new content which is always a win with uh, ever demanding clients that need just everything and we and a wonderful internet that, that that has about everything but takes time to find things it's nice to have everything in one place in the content library here so first we're going to talk about these new trees that we're getting the winter or leafless trees they're calling them so as you can see i've done a couple renders of what we can do with these new trees they're essentially trees without leaves leafless trees. They really help with some of the winter scenes that you need to create because Lumion does not have quite a lot, they have a ton of trees, they just didn't have a lot of uh, trees without leaves for the winter. You can cover some of these trees up with snow but people know that only evergreens are going to keep their leaves during the winter and the other trees should be you know, leafless like this. And There weren't too many of that, I'm glad they've rounded out the library. We've got three shrubs and 11 trees. So let's take a look at where we can find them. And typically, one of my minor issues I have with Lumion is they are always releasing new content, but it's sometimes really hard to find where the new stuff is. And even though I've used Lumion since like version two, I know the content really well, but when new stuff comes in, I can't differentiate it often anymore because they kind of put it in the middle of, of all these trees here. This time, we get a break with these leafless trees. They get their own tab here. And we also have forest wood, which we're going to cover in a second. So here's our 14 new objects here. You can see just nice, good quality models of trees, except for the winter. So in that render I did, I thought it'd be a fun idea to take all the deciduous trees and shrubs, set them on their own layer, keep all the evergreens <clears throat> on, and then I would re essentially replace the deciduous trees with these um, with these leafless trees. I did the kind of a select awesome new select all instances, identical objects, and then replace selection after making a copy. <clears throat> so that's kind of how you could set up a winter scene, essentially. And of course, these trees aren't exactly the same as these, as the deciduous trees here. We have like a billion and a half trees and only, you know, 11 leafless trees. So you're just going to have to be a little creative here. But I think it works pretty well. And maybe not that willow there. That, that kind of is a lot of place there. But that's how I was able to do that kind of transition from like a spring to a winter, which was kind of almost impossible to do before because you would have precipitation would put trees, put snow on deciduous trees, which that's not how it works. But able to keep the conifer trees with snow. So, uh, yeah, we're really quickly being able to um, have a little more versatility in our scenes, especially if we're working in cabins or in the mountains or wherever it's, there's a lot of snow. So next, we're going to talk about some new objects that have come in in the object library. We're going to jump right into the forest wood. So I've done a couple renderings showcasing everything that's come out here, and there's quite a lot of them. In fact, there are 121 new objects 96 are these nature objects here, calling the forest wood. And as you can see, there are a lot of sticks and twigs and stumps and all these little great little things you'll find everywhere in a forest. 
you know, you could find models like this maybe on like the SketchUp warehouse or somewhere online and import them and put them around everywhere, but it's, it's a lot of work and usually at the last second you just don't have time for that. But now when, you're, when you have this kind of forest vegetated scene, it's really great to be able to put these little objects kind of in the, in the gaps in here, which really kind of adds to the realism of our renders. So, very welcome, and they come from Evermotion, just like the other trees and a lot of other things on here. Evermotion is an excellent, excellent source for, for uh, content. And a kind of cool thing, too, is I can find the actual uh, pack here that they, that they purchased. All of these things they've added in here, and these are very, very highly detailed um, some of them are photogrammetry, some of them I think are optimized in software. So you'll see that these are quite a bit heavier than what we have in Lumion, because what Lumion does is they take these objects and they optimize them for Lumion so they run as quickly as possible, because no one, no one likes run, working in scenes that are running at one FPS, because we've added too many things. So... If you need this, if you want anything super high quality, you could always find really high quality objects and import them in, even buy the same pack. So I like that. I like if you really like the stump or some material on Polygon, you can just go buy the high resolution version. It's the exact same one they have on there. Or you can have the one in Lumia, which is optimized to run fast and get you going where you need to go. So next thing are these uh, planter, these planter pots some with uh, plants in them, some not. We have 25 of them. So you can see my little rendering I did here. Just kind of showcasing some of them. And a lot of them look really small. We, we could of course uh, just scale them up. However we need them to be. And let me show you where they're located. So they're in the indoor tab. Decoration. And ignore these page numbers because they're going to be different according to your monitor. But it's basically towards the end. And they're all the ones that say Evermotion. You'll find the original pots we had here. And we had a couple before. They were, they were pretty good. These ones are a lot better. And I love having ones with plants already in them. It's, I mean, you could, of course, place some of some uh, shrubs and, and things inside of the planters before. But it's just... It's nice just having it already good to go. And these are great. I really like this, this glass one. Okay, so the next thing are new materials that are added. And of course, we've gotten them from Polygon, which is like one of my preferred um, uh, texture websites. So I'm really glad that they're continuing to get more content from here. I have a little island out here that I have rendered showcasing all of the new things. So we got a lot of new woods, and I really like a lot of these woods. So, I'm going a little too fast here. So I have those rendered rendered clips to kind of take a look at. I'm really impressed with these. And uh, we have some more brick. A couple of steel ones and a wicker. So, kind of a little variety here, but a lot of heavy on wood. So we have 34 new wood materials. 15 brick, 2 steel, diamond patterns, and uh, that fabric wicker. So they're a little, they're not super tricky to find, but because Lumi has already purchased a lot of things from Polygon, they're starting to get blended in there. And again, they're split between the indoor and outdoor categories here. So outdoor wood, um, I know we had about 3 or so, 3 or 4 Polygon materials in there, and the rest of these are all new. And in indoor, we have even more. And I think indoor had like to like here or something before. So they've added quite a bit more as well. I'll link to the next page. So easy, quick adds. The brick you can can be found here in brick towards the end. So it's kind of almost all these back in here. But I've noticed that some of them are mixed in here. I think are were there before. We had a couple polygon ones there before, and now we have, uh, now they've added to it. So again, there would be a nice what's new tab, so we know exactly all the new ones in there to, to check them out. You just kind of kind of dig through it, though. Um, the steel ones are easy to find, 
they're towards the end. I guess these, these rusted panels are still at the end, but they're second to last two. Steel floor diamond quad, steel floor diamond. And the wicker is found in the uh, fabric, and kind of right in the middle here. So, fabric wicker. So you also, whenever they purchase things from Polygon, we'll have the material, the resolution afterwards. We have 2K. I know some of these woods were at like 3K. And this is another great thing, just like the Evermotion. These names are actually correlated to Polygon, although Polygon will put a couple more descriptors in there. If you just absolutely loved this material right here, you could go on to Polygon and down essentially find so which one is that wood flooring 37 it's a little tricky i've tried it but you can essentially look for this wood flooring on there and you can find this exact one download it full resolution i don't know sometimes they cap out at, at 3k sometimes they're they go up even higher i'm not sure in this case but in some cases i found some really high resolution versions of the materials that I've, that lumion comes with and you can make it your own but always awesome to have it inside of Lumion, of course. I, I love, I love custom materials. I love bringing in everything I can, making them from scratch and substance designer, or mixing them all up, or buying them from, from Polygon and mixing the alpha channels and glossiness maps. But in the end, I rely heavily on what's right here in Lumion because it's, it's just all about speed. You just there's never enough time to just do everything. So having high quality content just at the click of the button is. I mean, that's what makes Lumion, Lumion, and I'm glad that that's, that's not stagnant. It's growing. So that, uh, that all covers it for the major features and content that's come out in Lumion 9.5. But there's a couple little things I want to cover first before I, I finish here. Um, if you are, if for whatever reason you have not upgraded to 9.3 before and you're jumping to 9.5, just one little thing. Uh, I wanted to point out, so when you go to your uh, My Documents folder here, and you see I have a Lumion 8.0 and 9.3, and if I had 9.0 on this machine, this is a refresh machine, it would have a 9.0 and a 9.3, and maybe some of you people got a little confused about that, and I understand. Uh, apparently Lumion did an overhaul in a lot of these you know, bug fixes and optimizations they're doing in each version that they're kind of the unsung heroes. They they went and overhauled um, like the whole coding language to fully support a lot of these, I guess, Asian uh, Asian Asian letterings and windows and, and uh, amongst other things. And they had to kind of start. Oh, they had to do this, I guess. So you cannot open 9.5 or 9.3 with 9.0. It's almost like a new version. So if you're used to moving your 8.0 stuff to 9, it's the same thing. If and if you've never touched this before, you're probably you're probably fine. You just need to uh, open your existing scenes. You can open a 9.3, 9.0, 8.0, 7.0 scene in your 9.5 and be perfectly fine. But it's just kind of a, a little quirk, and I wanted to explain that. And I didn't actually release a video for 9.3. You know, that's something I can cover here. And there's plenty of little bug fixes that happen. Um, you know, I could cover them. And I actually, in the releases, I like to look for these little things as opposed to the big flashy things. Um, apparently, the Live Sync has gone through a lot of fixes. That's an incredible tool. That uh, It's now for several softwares. And they're just continually making it better. There's definitely couple things that uh, it could struggle with before and they're, they've made some good improvements on it and importing Collada has an interesting workflow um, material mode is quicker um, there's uh, 16k or larger textures can now be brought in Lumion just compresses I guess that was an issue before and I guess a couple reflection planes things if you've had issues with that in previous versions it seems like that's that's been fixed in here and one last caveat as well, I always forget to mention this. I'm talking about Lumia 9.5 Pro. I do not actually know, I haven't taken a look at what's come out 9.5, for example, that's non-pro. 
I'm guessing most of these materials are only Pro only, so that's something to take note to if you do not have Pro. You probably don't have most of these things. They, they, they fraction it out. So, again, so we have 14 new leafless trees, 121 new objects, including 96 nature objects, 25 plant pots, 52 new materials, like 30 woods, you see them right here. And all the optimizations and fixes, the unsung heroes that are coming out of every version. So guaranteed 1.5 is going to be one of the best running Lumions there is to date. And Lumion 10 is coming. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave comments. Um, I respond to them. I really do. I try really hard to respond to these comments, if you've noticed. Um, leave comments or anything questions or anything I could do better please subscribe and plenty more tutorials are coming there's been a little gap in there but there are many more to come even before 10 alright thanks for watching and until next time guys